Hi guys, welcome back. This is the first video of the year 2021 and today I'm also excited to share you an announcement on the new course launch from Execute Automation on Udemy platform, which is nothing but the end-to-end -end test automation with Playwright course. So this is the first course in almost an year now that I'm releasing a course in Udemy platform. I mean, I've been I mean, updating many of my course, which is already there in Udemy, like almost 33 courses, I think 34th course, this one, I've been updating those courses, but I have not released even a single new course so far in last year. So this is the first time I'm releasing a new course. I mean, I think first week of year 2021, I'm releasing this new course. I'm pretty excited with it. I mean, I've been working for this course for almost like a couple of months, but uh, this is the time that I actually got to polish the course and release it with all the contents as much as possible. I mean, you can see that this course, Into Interest Automation with Playwright, is a course very, very specific, focusing on the Playwright itself. I mean, you may have a question that I already have a course on uh, Udemy related to automation testing uh, with Playwright, Puppeteer and Codesept.js. But this course is a bestseller course, as you can see over there, 993 students already enrolled in the course. It's 2020 updated. It has everything that you really require to get started with Playwright as well. But this course was originally designed for Puppeteer uh, and because Playwright was a new tool released last year in 2020 uh, by the Microsoft team and they shared the same commonality between uh, Puppeteer and Playwright by then. That's why I was extending this existing course with the Playwright as well. But now Playwright is actually evolving a lot. I mean Playwright is now a Microsoft's own tool and they are building it and they are supporting a lot of language binding which Puppeteer also doesn't really. I mean Puppeteer is still restricted to TypeScript and JavaScript whereas Playwright support different language bindings like JavaScript, TypeScript, Java and C Sharp. So there is a new language binding support for uh, Java just like three or four weeks before they released it. And then the C Sharp language binding is pretty new as well. They also support language bindings like Python and Golang. I mean, I think in few uh, months there will be more language binding supporting coming soon. Uh, so I think this Playwright is just evolving a lot. And I cannot keep updating the existing course with all the contents on the Playwright. So I decided to have a separate course which focus fully on Playwright so that I can keep adding more and more content. And you can see this course, the end-to-end -end test automation in the Playwright actually has four language binding in this course. So this is the first ever course I'm releasing in this fashion. I mean, I have released many courses, like 33 plus courses, as I told you before, but I have not released any such course which has different language bindings in it. And this is the first course which I have released in this fashion because the Playwright is pretty awesome and I think this tool can be the future tool for many people to actually learn for the automation and it has all the things that we really require and having different language bindings is another plus for this tool. And you can see that this course starts with the introduction of Playwright like installing, getting started with the Playwright, writing a simple code, with the CLI and stuff and then it goes all the way to the basic building blocks of Playwright for you to get to know what is uh, Playwright and how you need to uh, work with Playwrights and stuff. And then there is a basic UI operation with Playwright, like how you perform some simple login, holding a mouse and taking a screenshot, working with just puppeteers and stuff. And then it goes bigger with the Playwright test runners and Folio, which just recently released and still in the beta stage. But yes, it's covered in this course as well. And then there is a modern features of modern app testing with Playwright which covers some of the modern features that uh, the Playwright has to offer uh, and how you can do your testing more efficiently with Playwright. And following that, there are labs in this course. So this is the first course, I mean, this is the second course of which I have a lab sections where they focus specifically on a specific problems that you really require to address during your day-to-day -day works and stuff. So this is like an advanced network interception, working with cookies uh, and uh, data-driven testings and stuff. I mean, I'm going to add a lot of labs in this course. They are coming soon. I mean, I'm still working on it. It's not there yet, but I'm going to be releasing this course soon. And then there is a simple framework for the playwright using the TypeScript language binding, which is also amazing. And followed by that, 
there is a playwright with java language binding which actually is going to be a whole new uh, level of the way you, you can write an automation with java language binding and this is the amazing part actually in this particular course because you can see that whatever you that you can do on a typescript and javascript language binding you can do the exact same thing in the java language binding as well and that's why i have a whole framework i mean a mini framework creation uh, course uh, uh, i mean content on this particular course and there is a playwright with c sharp language binding it's kind of very very basic at the moment but i'm actually adding more content uh, to this course it's going to be coming soon with spec flow integration azure devops integrations and stuff and there is going to be a whole new integration section which is going to cover uh, integrating the playwright with uh, Azure DevOps, uh, GitHub uh, Actions, uh, and Jenkins, and followed by that, there will be reportings and stuff. So this course, I think, I mean, end of this month, there will be a lot more content added in this course. It's already 7.5 hours of on-demand video, uh, and I think this is going to improve even a lot uh, than what it is right now. So yes, this is the new course, guys. I mean, this is the uh, major thing that I really wanted to talk to you all on the new course that I have introduced. I'm pretty excited to see you all joining. And if you join right now, please use coupon code EA Course Launch. So this is the new coupon code that I have created. Please use the coupon code and, and avail this coupon code for almost like more than 50% discount now. So you can uh, just enroll it and see how the course actually looks like. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and thank you very much for supporting. You guys have a great day.